Once on a part of VR Sports Powerboat Racing. This time we're going through and, you know, taking care of Arcade again. Going through Minow this one first. But we're using our new boats, the Katamaran boats. And, you know, we've always seen that these boats are different in their design and such, including the VR Sports boat, which I'm guessing is the best boat in the game, probably. But, um, yeah, this part here, even though short, is just there to essentially give you a taste for what these boats will be, be like, you know? If you've already experienced these tracks already, it's not be any different. But the boats themselves are what we're here for, and the boats kind of feel the same when it comes to steering them and such. Nothing's different there. What is different, however, is that I feel like the game is a lot more of a dickhead of these boats. Because, for one thing, I think the AI is a lot more of a douchebag with these boats now compared to, you know, the previous boats. And not only that, but I feel like these boats are a lot more easily prone to me getting knocked about than our previous ones. Like, I feel like the game is pushing me a lot harder around the place when other boats touch me, when the AI touches me, compared to beforehand. But well, yeah, we went to arcade again, and I will go through arcade again at this point. Because you get different stuff, you do get different stuff for doing this. But for next part, I am not going to, like, have this be, like, you know, the pipe ability and then the barracuda ability or whatever. You know, I'm not going to have that happen. What I am going to have happen is I'm going to combine those abilities at the end into one part. And I'll switch between them every now and then, you know, each race until the six races are done for that one, and then it's like the last one all the way through. And I'll show both rewards for both of those little teams uh, at the end. But right now, I am just not going to have them be separate parts. I'm going to combine them because you've already seen what arcade is at this point. You've already seen what these are when it comes to arcade. There's no reason for me to continue showing you this shit in that sort of manner. At this point, it is better of me to just, you know, just fucking show the whole thing, you know? Just show both of the difficulties, show both of the fucking classes in one part with these no boats, because... Why should I repeat this shit again and again like this? Also, yeah, the game closed the door in my face. I got unlucky because of it. The good news is that I'm playing on the easy ability. So, because I'm playing on the easiest ability, that means I can avoid getting fucked from this. Any horror than this, I would have been screwed. But because it's just, you know, Minow, it's the easiest one. It's not a problem. It's easy for me to catch up and get back on track first. But yeah, the main thing of the difference that I've noticed with these boats is that they're more prone to being knocked about easily. And I think the AI might be harder here with these boats. So it applies to the as well, I'm guessing. Other than that, they basically act the exact same. I am not noticing a single difference when it comes to these boats. They act the exact same. Maybe the speed is more, maybe it's like a faster boat. And it's be a lot more of like a fucking harder thing to steer and deal with. But I'm not getting that so far. And yeah, I'm gonna show you the whole spin thing here. No real point to doing that. I just want to show that off. But, uh, yeah. As you can see, the race is done there. Now it's time for the next one. Norway. I will admit, it's been a while since I've actually played this game, considering the Halloween stuff. It's been like a month since I had to play this. But, Ready? I'm... I don't think I've gotten rusty. I feel like, for the most part, I still have retained everything that has caused me so much misery when it comes to this game. All the pain and bullshit this game has caused me, and also the lag. I feel like I am ready for this at this point. I feel like I am still 
good to go of getting through this game, kicking its ass, and being none of it. That being said, so far nothing to write home about when it comes to these new boats. And so far, not much to say for myself when it comes to these parts. Maybe if we get to the other difficulties, we'll be able to notice some something like more noticeable of this shit. But ultimately, I just... I don't see shit. I see a very easy fucking deal here, you know? It's the exact same boat in control and in speed and shit. So, I'm going to play it that way. The AI, maybe a little bit harder, maybe, but ultimately, I feel like everything here is the same as it was before. And either I'm repeating myself again and again and again. At the very least, I'm getting more of shit that I need. And yes, this does have its own rewards. Doing different boats like this does give you different stuff, so... There is a reason why you should or even have to do this, because you need to unlock stuff. You need to unlock more stuff. And the only way to do that is to use these boats. To use all the stuff the game gives you. And so far, all we've done is Arcane Championship. And I've locked, I've locked like a few cheat codes, one new track, the mines, and this boat set. And a few modes as well. We've unlocked a few modes I have yet to touch. But yeah, so far, very samey, very kind of boring, honestly. And yeah, like, just nothing to write home about with this. I do feel like, however, that so far, like, I think the AI might be able to, you know, everybody's being faster now, I think. Because beforehand, I didn't think I was going to, like, overlap someone in this track ever on a slower boat but with these that's not an issue to me it feels like at this point i am almost always going to overlap one racer at this point when it comes to these boats no matter what what difficulty it is you know minnow pike barracuda doesn't fucking matter i'm gonna overlap some people and whoever's in last is going to get overlapped by me many times. But yeah, I just... This is honestly just kind of boring. I'm saying that right now, that coming back to this game a month later... It hasn't gotten fun again. It hasn't, like, you know, given me some kind of enjoyment again like I did beforehand until I had to really suck doing this again and again and again. For the most part, I just find this to be boring. Like, sure, the music's nice. Graffler looks nice. And sure, there's a lot of challenge here and there. But you go for the same track so much, it becomes boring. Look, I don't feel enjoyment. I just feel bored. I feel, like, super fucking tired. And I think that's a problem with this game, overall. And I hate saying that, because I want to be more positive, I want to, like, you know, let you guys know that, hey, this game is not that bad, you can still play it very well, you know, you can still have a good time of it. You know, I want to be able to be positive about this game. Even giving it time, a month time, to, like, you know, just be in my mind a little bit, to make me think over this game. 
and the CPUs get better. And so far, VR Sport Power Racing is just not good. It's not fun. Like, it starts off fun, you know? It starts off interesting. But after that, it's just this. It's just that. And I don't think that that is just like interesting, really. much else to say about this because it's just me now and I don't have much to say when it comes to the next part because we've already seen all these tracks the main thing here is completing this shit and seeing the cheats and stuff and seeing the unlockables we get from this because again we do get different stuff we do get different things from completing these things again but with this boat type now so what do we get for being Minow of Arcade with these new boats. Well, after the results here, which are just complete bullshit really, our reward is Deform, Big Heads. So yeah, that's it. And they haven't changed this bit, so obviously it's just going to say congratulations. Make sure you do the pike class. Yeah. That was cool driving. All right. So next time in VR Sports Powerboat Racing, I'm going to combine two arcade playthroughs, the pike and the barracuda, together into one part. And we're going to get through arcade and hopefully be done with it forever. And the part after the championship stuff, which I don't think I can actually, you know, game that shit, so that's a problem. But yeah, for now, thank you for watching, everybody, and I will see you all next time with uh, Energy and VR Sports as we complete Arcade with these new boats. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.